Nigel Farage said yesterday that you're going to have uh, a radical Islamic party have seats in commons in the next election. Do you believe that's true? Well, there's going to be a by-election in the next few weeks, and it could be a radical Islamic party win in that by-election. So Islamic, that is a possibility. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're saying an Islamic radical party in a couple of weeks in a special election is in one of these Midland urban uh, areas that has it's a problem. It's Rochdale. So it's an urban area Hold in the it. north of but England. But it's the one that's had the, the rape situation? Yes. The grooming situation? Yes. Hang on. I don't understand this. The grooming situation, Tommy Robinson, all these heroes fought it. The rape situation. And in that community, you're going to have a special election and you may have a radical jihadist party send somebody to comments that, after that all that correct. problem. That is correct. Now, how, did, how, how, how are you going to save a country where you have that chain of events? Because the vast majority in Britain don't want this to happen. They don't want to be a country that is subject to Islamic terrorism. They don't want to be a country that backs Hamas. They're not an anti-Semitic country. So what we have to do is make sure the people of Britain's views are actually reflected in the policies that are carried out in Britain. And that's why we need to take on these extreme leftists, because the problem is these people have been appeased. We haven't done enough to crack down on the pro-Hamas marches. We haven't been doing enough to crack down on the environmental extremists that are gluing themselves to trains in London. We're not doing enough to crack down on these arguments and actually stand up to these people. You can't triangulate with terrorists. You've got to take them on.